Hi, this is Rob. In this video, I'll provide a bit of information about the Cloud Resume Challenge Sprint I'll be participating in this September. There are a couple ways you can approach the Cloud Resume Challenge. One, you can jump in and go it alone. Just hit the website at cloudresumechallenge.dev, then click Take the Challenge, select your provider, and crack on. By the way, if you do do this, I highly recommend picking up the Cloud Resume Challenge book. There's a ton of good info in there. The other way to approach the challenge is to join a sprint, and this is what I'll be doing for two reasons. First, I wanted to move through the challenge quickly, and I thought the one-week sprint cycles would keep me on track to do that. And second, I enjoy working with others and assisting people if they get stuck on a particular problem. Now, please note that anyone participating in this sprint is expected to do their own work, but there's a cohort of people progressing at the same time that you can leverage for assistance if needed. So let's take a look at how the sprints are structured. Each sprint lasts four weeks and follows the strategy outlined in the Cloud Resume Challenge book. At the end of each sprint, you'll have completed a mini project and learned some valuable skills. Then in the following sprints, you'll build off what you completed in the prior sprint, delivering more functionality in additional mini projects. Now let's look at the skills you'll build and apply in each week. In week one, this is where you'll build your static resume. You'll use HTML and CSS to design your resume, commit the code to a GitHub repository, deploy your code to a cloud storage service like S3 on AWS, and set up a CDN in DNS for your site. If you're new to web development and want a quick intro to HTML, CSS, or even Bootstrap, I have playlists on these in my channel that you may find useful. I also have a video on configuring Git on a Mac if you need to do that. I'll post links to the playlist in the video in the description below. Moving on to week two, this is where you'll start to build out the back end of your application using cloud compute services like Lambda on AWS, a NoSQL database like DynamoDB, and you'll write your code in Python. Week three is where things really start to come together because you'll be integrating your front end static resume and the back end you built in the prior sprint. To do this, you'll use JavaScript in your front end web page to make a call to your back end's API, which will increment your site's visitor counter. If you're not sure how to call an API from JavaScript, I have some Ajax tutorials in my JavaScript playlist you may find helpful. Additionally, in week three, you'll implement the all important monitoring of your application as well as end to end testing. And that brings us to week four. Here, things take a bit of a turn from building the application to building your infrastructure as code using Terraform and implementing a CICD pipeline using GitHub Actions and a Cloud Secrets Manager service. Overall, that may not seem like a lot to accomplish because it only took us a few minutes to review, but it will require a bit of work. And that's the point of the challenge. And it'll be a lot of fun along the way. So if you're interested in joining a sprint, join the Cloud Resume Challenge Discord and get registered. As I progress through the sprint, I'll post additional videos each week in the event you'd like to follow along and see how it goes.